Former President Jimmy Carter is truly a respectable man. He's a really good guy. Now, he is somebody who has who dedicated pretty much his whole his whole presidency to uh, not going to war. So now, as you guys know, H.R. McMaster had resigned and John Bolton was set to take his place. So you guys are going to be seeing Jimmy Carter's opinion on this subject, and he is going to explain uh, what he thinks. Check it out. Do you have faith in President Trump? Well, as I say, I, I, I've been concerned at some of the things he's decided. I think his last choice for National Security Advisor was very ill-advised. I think John Bolton has been the worst mistake he's made. He's advocated going to war preemptively against North Korea, against Iraq, against, uh, against uh, Iran even. Uh, and so I think that that, that is particularly ill-advised because the National Security Advisor, I know from experience, is the most uh, listened to advice that a president gets. But I, I still think that our country can overcome it. The president's new National Security Advisor has advocated a preemptive strike in North Korea. What would that do? That would be a total disaster. So now I talked about this when it happened. Uh, now, John, he's, Jimmy Carter is completely correct because John Bolton is an absolute war hawk. Now, there are a lot of problems with Trump picking John Bolton. There are multiple fronts. So, first of all, John Bolton is a ginormous war hawk, which is horrendous. He's advocated both a preemptive strike on North Korea as well as a preemptive bombing of Iran. So, he wants to go to, to war with not only Iran but also North Korea. He's advocated for both of them. He's written detailed articles where he talks about it. Now, going to war with Iran would essentially be in Iraq, but just way worse because the population of Iran is much bigger. You know, it is much bigger and it would be a lot, lot worse. So, and of course, our administration is stupid as fuck, so they wouldn't be able to do this, right? Um, they, this would be probably the worst mistake if either of those were to happen, that would probably be the worst mistake of the beginning of the 21st century. Um, that would be horrendous because, of course, if you bomb North Korea, not only putting North Americans in danger, but, of course, millions of S South Koreans in danger. If you bomb Iran, uh, millions of civilians are going to be killed, thousands of U.S. soldiers are going to be killed, and trillions of dollars will be wasted. And we have no idea what kind of regime change is going to happen if... Just the thought of ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra, or any of them being able to gain any power or any governmental ground in Iran is scary as fuck. And that would make the problem far, far worse than it is currently. And Jimmy Carter is spot on right now. He's spot on in what he says. Now, what was truly kind of scary to me is that, because of course he was president, and he says that in his experience, the National Security Advisor is the main person uh, that the president listens to. Now, if, Pre if President Trump is listening to John Bolton, this is a very, very scary situation because John Bolton is a disgustingly avid war hawk. You know, so, and we know that Trump is very stupid, he's very impressionable, he calls up Fox News people, he gets a lot of his talking points from Fox News, and he's the President of the United States of America. Um, now, the other front that I wanted to talk about was the fact that one of Trump's kind of keys to his presidency was being a non-interventionist. And with the, with the pick of John Bolton, that has basically gone down the toilet. Because again, John Bolton is a complete war hawk. I can't, I can't even begin to explain to you guys how scary of a pick this is. And I tried to explain this in the last uh, time that I spoke about this. And on top of all this, he was like almost one of the main architects pretty much of false fabricating and just making false accusations against Iraq saying that they had weapons of mass destruction, that whole disaster can at least partially be pinned on this piece of shit named John Bolton, and President Trump has just appointed him to be his national security advisor. So Jimmy Carter's completely right, because John Bolton is a complete buffoon and a war hawk lunatic.